Guys, so uh, this is my app for the London City Lionesses. Um, I chose the team because I'm currently doing the match announcing for them, so I just thought um, it'd be great to um, to do an app for you know for this relatively unknown team, uh, championship uh, championship women's team, um, and obviously right now they don't they don't even have an app. Uh, so this is the uh, this is the home screen. Um, the icon at the top will act as a home button for the other pages you navigate to. Um, a slogan for the club just underneath it. Latest news. Um, you know the match coming up, match day details, latest result, and then a navigation bar at the bottom and the uh, burger menu uh, top left. So if we uh, click on uh, London City Lionesses versus Chelsea Women, click on that. That's just a, a story about the game being postponed due to uh, due to COVID. So if we click on the line at the top, we're back to the home screen. Next news story. We can scroll through that. Back again. And final news story. Scroll through that. Happy days. Uh, latest result. And click on that and read about the, the latest game against Arsenal. Uh, in the uh, Continental Cup. Player of the match. Uh, a couple uh, stats just about the game at the bottom there. Substitutes and stuff. And straight back to the home screen. Uh, so now we can go to the team. Uh, this is the the first team, uh, and each player has their own um, profile. It says age, height, position, star sign. It's just something that the uh, something that the club uh, offers. So I thought oh, I'll, I'll I'll add it as well. Uh, nationality, their debut, previous clubs, stuff like that. And uh, and you know every single every single player's got one. So if we go home again, fixtures and results. You can go all the way back to September 2020 for results, and then the fixtures coming up all the way till May next year. Match day highlights. Obviously these things don't work; they're not real videos, but you know it's just the the concept of it. And match day gallery, same again, just just the concept of of it. Um, but uh, yeah, this you know. Photos for, for each individual game. Back to the home screen. So we go to the socials then. Contact. Uh, you got the address there. The um, social media sites. Football recruitment. General manager. Media employment and comments. Uh, shop. It's a very basic shop because, you know, they're a small club. Um, their shirts, the designs aren't even out yet. But they said, uh, you know, you can pre-order and get a fiver off. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, that's the shop there. Uh, and the table, zoom in, you can have a look, what's going on, they're currently 8th, uh, they're playing Liverpool in a few weeks, and and yeah, so that's the, that's the home screen and the navigation, so if you go to the burger menu, you've got login, not all of these have got links, so uh, the map, this is a map and, and address and, and a few facts about the ground, um, obviously on the real app it would be an interactive map and everything, obviously this is just a picture just at the minute. Back to the burger menu. Um, so yeah, again, you know, we got the first team, results and fixtures, shop, uh, about us, contact us, settings and sponsors. So um, the login bit, tickets, about us, con uh, about us and settings don't have links. But again, it's just the concept, and that's that's you know what I would would have done for it. Uh, and sponsors as well. I got a sponsor section. Back to the home thing. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, I designed it definitely in the thought of nothing should be more than three three uh, steps away. That's why I wanted to uh, to have this um, have the club badge as a as a home home button on every single page because I thought that was just absolutely perfect. And uh, and yeah, it all it all works. Um, I think possibly the if if I had you know a bit more experience in it, I think the home page maybe could be. Um, maybe a bit tidier, maybe, but you know, with with my limited ability at stuff like this and limited experience, I'm uh, I'm I'm quite happy with it. Um, and I think I think if this was I think if this was a a general app, it would have everything everything that other apps do. Like I know some apps have a few more like gimmicky things, like the Leeds app has a a live countdown to the next game and stuff like that. Um, but I think we you know with with the the technology we've been given to to make it and and the ideas that we've been shown and everything i think uh i'm, I'm just really happy with it i'm really happy with what i created and i think it's uh, an app certainly fit for purpose thank you very much